Hello students, this is Neha Mathur and today in this video we are going to discuss Z parameters from networks theory. See, uh, I am going to start the topic but before starting the topic, please consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos and share with your friends and concerned students also. Fine. So, the today's topic is Z parameters. As I told you in my last video that was related to two port basics of two port network in that I told you that here we have four variables. Uh, these are I1, I2 and V1, V2. Now, on the basis of the dependency of these variables, we divide that two port network into some other parameters in the form of some other parameters in which Z parameter is, in, in, uh, Z parameter is one of them. So, in Z parameter, the important thing is that I1 and I2 is treated as independent variables while V1 and V2 both are considered as a dependent variable. Now, on behalf of this dependency, that I1 and I2 is independent while V1 and V2 is dependent variables will have to write some equations in two equations not some only two equations in the form of uh, these two port networks. So, the equation equations are C V1, I, V1 and V2 are independent variables. So, the equation will start from V1 and it will be V1 is equals to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. Similarly, V2 for the second port of the network, the V2 will be Z21 I1 and Z22 I2. These equations will have to write on behalf of the electrical network given uh, in the question. Here, the important thing is an interesting thing is that Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22 are Z parameters and will have to find the value of these parameters with the help of V1, V2 and I1, I2. So, these are the two important equations related to Z parameters and you can see that V1 and V2 are dependent variables and yes, you can see that V1 is totally dependent on I1 and I2. Similarly, V2 is also dependent on I1 and I2 while I1 and I2 are independent variables because they will have their own values. They are not dependent on other parameters for their calculation. So, on behalf of these, I write these two equations. Now, we will find Z parameters in the term of voltage and current that how we can identify how we can calculate these parameters. So, so you can see here that if you here we have four variables, four parameters Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. Now, you can see that you will find the value of Z11 and that value can be calculated just by putting V1 upon divided by I1 only when your I2 is equals to 0 or I can say that if I am going to take I2 is equals to 0 in this equation then this term will be uh, eliminated this term, term will be 0 so it can be eliminated and your Z11 will be I1 upon I2. Similarly, on, by following this concept, I can find all the variables like your Z12 will be V1 divided by I2, V1 divided by I2 and it only possible if your I1 is equals to 0, fine. Similarly, uh, so with the help of this first equation, you are able to find two variables Z11 and Z12. Similarly, from second equation, you can also calculate remaining two parameters and they are Z21. For the calculation of this Z21, you will have to eliminate this term and this is only possible when your I2 is equals to 0. In that case, Z1, Z21 will be V2 divided by I1. Similarly, we can calculate Z22, Z22 which depends on V2 and I2. So, it will be V2 divided by I2 only when I1 is equals to 0. So, with the help of these two equations, we can easily find out all the parameters related to these equations and they are Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. Now, the interesting thing is you can see, you can observe over here that all the parameters whether it is Z11, 
z12 z21 and z22 all are in the ratio of voltage uh, divided by current voltage divided by current again voltage divided by current and voltage divided by current that's why z parameter is also known as impedance parameter the second name for that z parameter is impedance parameter and the reason is because all the parameters are given in the ratio of voltage and current and this is relevant this for impedance is a relevant term for the ratio of voltage and current so these are the parameters we can calculate uh, with the help of z parameters and one more important thing is over, over one more important thing is that for the calculation of uh, see for the calculation of z11 and z21 we are putting i2 equals to 0 that means we are going to open circuit the second port of the network similarly for the calculation of z12 and z22 our i1 is equals to 0 so the point is when you want to calculate z11 and z21 you will have to take i2 is equals to 0 and the meaning of i2 is equals to 0 is that there is no current flowing at the output terminal or i can say at the second port of the network that means at that time we'll have to consider that second port of the network is treated as an open circuit similarly for the calculation of z12 and z 2 2 will have to take i1 is equals to 0 and the meaning of i1 is equals to 0 is that there is a no current entering or leaving at the first port of the network that means in this situation we'll have to consider that the first port of the network is open circuit this that's why this z parameter is also known as open circuit z parameter or open circuit impedance parameter i want to add one more thing one more term with this name that is open circuit so uh, you can say that this is a z parameter or open circuit impedance parameter impedance i am taking impedance over here just because all the variables are in the ratio of voltage and current similarly i am taking open circuit term over here that's because all the parameters you are calculating by putting i1 equals to 0 and i2 equals to 0 that means we are considering that at a time no current is entering or leaving from the first port similarly the second time no current is entering or leaving from the second port that means both the port is treated as an open circuit at a time this is about open circuit impedance parameter and this is the complete uh, description of z parameters and i am again repeating that z parameter is used to analyze any electrical network and uh, the meaning of the analyze i just want to tell you that you can calculate relevant current and voltage for any electrical network with the help of z parameters after the complete description of all the parameters in my upcoming video uh i will discuss some important questions also related to all these topics in the, in that video i will discuss all the relevant questions related to z parameters or or upcoming parameters fine so in that case you will be more confident with the practice of some questions but before the before going with the practice of some question i will suggest you that follow that proper uh, description of the z parameters and important thing is the basics of the z parameter which is which i told in my last video so go through with all these and in next video i will discuss why parameters from networks theory i hope you are following the concept and if you are following consider to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get updated for the upcoming videos and please click on like button if you are following the content and if you are liking the video thank you thank you so much